So aspartame is one of the most uh, common artificial uh, sweeteners. It can be found in a lot of uh, beverages, in, uh, in yogurt, and also in um, you know, packages that you put in your coffee. Uh, and there are some reports that uh, indicate that consumption of aspartame increases slightly the chance for specific uh, cancers. Uh, so this prompted the World Health Organization uh, to list aspartame as a potential uh, carcinogen. But what we need to point out here is that, you know, uh, a correlation uh, is not really a causation. In other words, uh, although we, some of the studies may indicate uh, these associations, that doesn't mean necessarily that the consumption of these artificial sweeteners is responsible for the development of, uh, of disease. The, the food industry develop artificial sweeteners as a substitute for sugars because unlike sugars, artificial sweeteners, uh, they don't contain any caloric content. This is very beneficial, obviously, uh, because you can maintain the sweet flavor of different food without getting the extra calories. So if the choice for an average consumer is uh, to cut the artificial sweetener and substitute with sugar, Probably, uh, you know, the advice will be to stick with the artificial sweetener because we know the adverse uh, health effects associated with high consumption of simple sugars. There is no artificial sweetener right now approved, at least uh, uh, by FDA, uh, that we have concrete evidence uh, to cause any type of disease. And on the other hand, there is no artificial sweetener that is free of these associations with uh, certain diseases. Therefore, uh, I wouldn't say that, you know, substituting one artificial sweetener for another uh, uh, makes, uh, makes a lot of uh, sense from the consumer standpoint. For individuals, for example, that they use artificial sweeteners as a substitute for sugars because they want to control the blood level of sugars. Uh, a perfect example of that is an individual that is, uh, is a diabetic. Uh, then I think the choice is very, very straightforward. Uh, the artificial sweetener maintains the sweetness in, uh, in the food, but without raising the blood levels of sugars. The FDA has set upper limits for daily consumption of all artificial sweeteners. In the case of aspartame, uh, to put it in context, uh, if one uh, would exceed these uh, daily limits, should I consume approximately 15 to 17 uh, uh, diet beverages. Uh, so this is not the average consumer. The average consumer in the United States uh, consumes aspartame uh, equivalent to probably two diet uh, sodas. Uh, and even the, the highest consumers, they don't exceed three to five uh, sodas. If, if uh, the consumption of one or two uh, diet sodas a day was adequate to increase substantially the risk for the development of certain diseases, diabetes, obesity, or cancer, we would know by now, since uh, most of the artificial sweeteners in the market right now have been approved for more than 20 years.